Welcome to Storytime Pals. Subscribe to keep the stories coming. Hi there, boys and girls. It's your pal Vernon. The next story I'll be reading to you is a really fun one about sharing. It's called Too Many Mangoes, a story about sharing. <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go. Kama and his sister Nani love to climb the giant mango tree when they visit their grandpa's house. Kama can climb up high. He helps Nani find a special branch to sit on. It's very nice. Grandpa comes outside and asks Kama to pick some mangoes. Kama reaches and tugs on the mangoes one by one and passes them to Nani and she passes them to Grandpa. There are big ones, small ones, ripe ones, green ones, and some have brown spots on them. Grandpa looks over the huge pile of mangoes. He says, there are too many mangoes for our little family. Take some down the road and share them with our neighbors. Ooh, that's a good idea. Kama and Nani load the mangoes in a little red wagon and pull it down the road to the first house. Aloha, Auntie Pua. Grandpa said to give some mangoes to you, Nani exclaims. Mahalo, children. These mangoes will make delicious mango bread, says Auntie Pua. These spotty ones are perfect. Hmm. Here are some banana macadamia nut muffins that I baked this morning. Mahalo for sharing, says Auntie Pua. Mm, yummy. They see their friends at the next house. Kama and Nani sing out, Aloha, Momi and Kawaii. Grandpa has too many mangoes. Ooh, I love to eat fresh ripe mangoes, says Momi. They both take a few golden yellow ones and say, Mahalo for the mangoes. Here are some papayas for your family. Ooh, yummy papayas. Kama and Nani visit the next neighbor. Aloha, Mr. Wong. Grandpa has some mangoes for you today, Kama says. He takes a few green mangoes and says, Green mango with shoyu, vinegar, and chili pepper water is the best. Mrs. Wong made some guava jam. Here is a jar for you. Ooh, yummy. You're getting me very hungry. Each neighbor that they visit gives them something in return. Lani likes pickled mango. She takes the half-ripe mangoes and gives Kama some bananas. Liko prefers to sprinkle Li Hing powder on her mango. The Li Hing flavor makes the mango sweet and sour. She gives Nani a beautiful orchid plant from her yard. They finally went to every house on the block and realized that although the mangoes were gone, their wagon was completely full. Grandpa sees Kama and Nani returning home. Nani excitedly tells Grandpa, We were able to share all of our mangoes! Kama shows Grandpa all of their mahalo gifts from the neighbors. Nani puts the orchid plant on the table. Kama gives each of them a muffin. Nani puts the orchid plant on the table. Kama gives each of them a muffin with guava jam on it. And Grandpa combines the bananas, papayas, and mangoes together to make a fresh fruit salad. Mmm. Nani picks up a big slice of mango. She smiles and says, We're lucky Grandpa had too many mangoes. The end. Wow, that was a really cool book about sharing. What do you think, boys and girls? Well, thank you again for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching Storytime Pals. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.